Hey everyone, Jordan here. Off the back of the 87 Float RGB video, we now have the 1500 watt power supply. Absolute behemoth. It weighs an absolute ton as well. We've had up until this point a 1200 watt gold. So I'm really looking forward to seeing a high wattage one, make a great test bench PSU. You can even run two 12 watt high power cables off of it, or the six plus six as they call it now. We've also got an 80 plus platinum rating, but they also have the titanium cybernetics rating. Some people prefer the cybernetics as a more trustworthy source. And then we've also got a 10 year warranty as well. Some of the things as I open this up, we've got 105 degree Japanese capacitors, also digital power for voltage regulation resulting in a higher efficiency. You can run two graphics cards off this thing. So I think if you're gonna be running two cards, you're not really gonna be worried about your electricity bill. So inside the box, we've got the power supply in some really nice closed cell foam to protect it. And then an absolute monstrous bag of cables. Never seen a bag this big, that's for sure. That's what she said. <laughs> just a little bit of a teaser or, or it's ports. So let's just pop this to the side. So let's look at our bag of cables first. So not your ordinary kettle lead with this power supply. This is a C19, so a rectangular plug to be able to handle the higher output that this power supply can offer. Then we have masses and masses of cables. I also like the fact that even the SATA cables are all sleeved. Attention to detail, nice to see. So I've now got all the cables out. First of all, on the left, we've got the two 12 watt high power cables or the six plus six, 12 plus four the ATX 3.1 compliant cables for your 40 series cards. So two of those, these can handle 600 watts each as well. You can even power the highest end cards. We've then got the 24 pin, a little bit different on the other end as well. So you get it the right way around. Nothing really else to talk about, pretty standard. And then again, with the EPS connectors, these are four plus four, so you can split them off from motherboards that require an eight and a four, for example. Next up, we've got six PCIe connectors. Now each of these cables has got one six plus two. So for example, you've got enough if you wanted to do two 1700 XTXs, something like that, some crazy combination. You've got enough for those. So you've basically got six six plus twos. Next, we've got our SATA cables. We've got three cables. Each of these have got four connections. So you've got a total of 12 SATA. Last but not least, we've got the peripheral connector, AKA Molex. There's four connectors on this cable. We've got one cable. So a total of four Molex is there. So we'll swap the cables with the power supply so we can have a closer look at this. So we've got a 140 mil maglev bearing fan in the middle. This also is 180 millimeters in length, so not quite as long as some other power supplies. Generally go over 200 for this kind of wattage. So it's pretty compact, which is obviously good for compact yet high power systems. We've got a printed NZXT C15 on both sides. Generally speaking now, power supply side will go down so you'll be able to read the text on whichever side round you have it. On the back, we have that C19 power connector, our power switch, really, difficult to push that switch a real chunky one and you've also got the zero rpm fan mode so under lower loads the fan's not going to spin unless you're going to be using two graphics cards i can't imagine it's going to spin very much because 1500 watts is going to be hard to draw that amount with a single card anyway onto the business end of the power supply we've got our motherboard connection on the top left our cpu and pcie run two rows and then an additional one and then we've got our 12 watt high power or the two times six on the bottom right and then we can do our peripherals and sat out with the l shape so any additional hard drives or controllers that you want to add. I've been looking forward to a high wattage power supply from NZXT and this will make a great test bench PSU. Obviously after I've used it in a few builds, you'll see it in the H7 RGB video as well if you want to watch that. But Seasonic are the guys that make the power supplies for NZXT as far as I know. So they're going to be absolutely solid units. We've got a 10 year warranty there as well. Price wise, this is going to be £299. Is obviously higher end, but 1500 watts, you have got the platinum certification and also you can support two 12 watt high power cables so you're going to be paying a premium also sleeve cables there as well which is a nice touch so all of this will obviously add money but for those of you that want it or are going to be running two cards this is the kind of thing you will be looking for it's only going to be available in black but we might see a white one pop up especially as nzxt have announced that they're going to be doing the c850 1000 watt and 1200 in white soon hoping to get those in that we can cover as well so we can do some nice white builds but we might see a white one pop up in the future especially as the other ones have had the white treatment. Um, I will leave the links for this in the description box below if you want to pick one up. Let me know any other questions, comments that you have, what you'd like to see this in as well. Maybe we can try and get some high-end server stuff in and we can use it in that or something crazy. Maybe we could build a home server or something as well. So let me know what you'd like to see. Thank you, of course, to NZXT for sending it out for me to look at. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.